All right, so Ali had this idea. Post Malone just came out with this country album. I'm a big fan I of- I love it. I'm a big fan of Post Malone. It's so good. He should have always been country. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I just love the 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 progression and everything. The videos where we talk about them, they don't do well. So this is more for us. Yeah. Like, whatever, who cares? Post, if you're watching, you're great, dude. Keep it going. Um, so maybe in case we break what we're recording right now into a few things, um, Post Malone, he just barely did his debut in Nashville at the Grand Ole, Opry, Grand Ole Opry. Grand Ole Opry. You've been there before. Yeah. Do you remember? What What did you, who did you see? It wasn't anyone like, okay. Because they'll have, it's like open all the time. Yeah. And so they have like I can't, people but For part of our, you know, again, we haven't been able to film much of it. The Our Sebs Goes Country. We got another one coming. Yeah, I got another one coming. But um, stay tuned. Pew, pew, if you feel me. Um, but um. Yeah, one of my things is just going to Nashville, and I'd love yeah. to do like yeah. streams and. Yeah, I don't really yeah. know the history with the Grand Ole Opry. I just know it's important. <laughs> sure. Like a lot of we've looked it up before, and I can't remember here, but yeah. Post Malone got his his uh, little intro here. Um, the country. Um, yeah, I wanted to watch this, so I haven't seen it. Like I've heard a couple of songs, so we're gonna listen to one song that I really like that I think you'll yeah. like. But then it had Brad Paisley welcoming welcoming Post Malone to his Opry debut. So I was like, oh, let's, let's hear see the that. intro. Yeah, let's 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 see that. Let's see I wish I say. Uh, we were looking through recordings here and seeing if we could see that. And if I, we could see like a live version there, there just weren't good quality. There weren't anything good quality as we uh, as we took a quick gander at them. So mm -hmm. we're gonna listen to the original, like the official like a uh, version of a uh, Post Malone yeah. and Laney Wilson song, but. Yeah. Yeah, let, let's but see this. But it's cool because it seems like at this show, because he has so many collaborations on this album. Sure. It seems like everyone was there. Was there? That is cool. I don't know if like Tim McGraw was. I didn't see a video with Tim sure. McGraw. Um, so maybe not everyone, but a lot of them. Well, let's see. Let's let, Which let, is amazing. Let's see what, I, yeah, I'm anxious to see what Brad Paisley has to say. Um, but yeah, I think, I, I feel like I have an interesting outlook into country, right? Mm -hmm. Having come from being a hater to... The stuff that made me love it was, I think, the stuff that a lot of people are saying they wish country would go back to, right? Yeah. Yeah, what, like your Jamie Johnsons, your, mm -hmm. um, you know, good, like the good stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And that is what I like the about true it. True country. And we have listened to modern stuff, and I've appreciated the you modern. like a lot of that. Too. I love, like, the, your Morgan Wallens, your stuff like that. I've, I've loved it. But, mm -hmm. but again, it is some of that old school country that I've really liked. And post Malone. I feel like he definitely shows appreciation for that. Or to like album. true, like to real country. Yeah. So let, let us know your thoughts, guys. Uh, talk to us. But uh, yeah, let's see what Brad Paisley has to say. And and again, maybe we cut this video into a couple where we just talk about it. Just gossip about around. Go um, I've told Ali, I've never written music before. Mm -hmm. Like I know music. I can play music. I can perform music. But uh it's weird, like country's becoming the thing like I want to write, mm -hmm. like my first stuff for. It's just, it's fascinating. So yeah. anyway, from country hater to lover, let's, I'm excited to see what people say about my boy Post. So here we go. Mm -hmm. The link is down below, by the way, to this one. Well, the thing about this nice young man that we're <laughs> about to inter introduce onto the stage that I know might mean more to him than anything he's possibly, possibly ever played. played. That's cool. This is a guy who made his mark in it's other formats. It's just like a small place. It has really? a country it's not heart, huge, yeah. oh, okay. I believe. And, and he is someone so who would have been immersed like way cool himself to be there. Sure. Yeah. In, in the, the Nashville Nash way and came here and said, I'm going to make an album and I'm going to do it with country musicians and friends and, and we're going to drink a lot of beer. <laughs> beer. And we're going to... And we're going to spend all nighters in the like studio and we're going to come up with something. And that album comes out, I guess, tomorrow night. And I, it's going to be the greatest thing you've ever heard. That's cool that he like, did this right before it's released. Mm -hmm. but, but you, you aren't are a country singer till you've played this. And he That's is cool. through and through one of the best musicians, artists, and people I've met. Please welcome for his debut on the Grand Ole Opry, Post Malone. That's cool. And do they play a song here? No, Does he talk? Let's see. Yeah. He's like tall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
because again, his stuff, unlike like we talked about it when we listened to his, Beyonce's country sucked. Like that wasn't. Yeah, great. it did. You're an absolute stud. Um, <laughs> what's going on, Nashville? What's going on? He's trying to reinvent anything. No, he's just. He's trying to um, appreciate what it is. Right. My name is Austin Richard Post. Um, I actually didn't I'm know Post was his last name. Tonight, uh, with some really amazing folks and uh, friends of mine. I'm honored to call them friends of mine, and I'm so. You can hear him um, getting choked up. Terrified and beyond um, honored to be standing uh, right in this spot right here. Um, And, like that um, circle's like a thing. My like, mom's here tonight. Yeah, Brad. yeah. Good mom's here. And I remember going to see you when I was like six. <laughs> 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 and I just wanted to say how amazingly grateful and beyond floored I am uh, to have you um, bring me out tonight, sir. And I appreciate you more than that. That's cool. Um, and to everyone here who came out, I hope we'll hopefully don't mess this up completely. Um, and I just love you so very much. And keep spreading love, keep kicking ass. And um, this first song we're doing, um, we're doing with uh, one of my favorite, uh, second favorite guitar player. <laughs> second favorite. <laughs> And um, one of my favorite singers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vince Gill, uh, tonight. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I'm going to have to watch that one at some point. We're yeah, gonna, we they, have, I don't know if that's on, on his album. Because Vince Gill has made me cry like a baby on this channel before. Yeah. I mean, I kind of want to Just post and have see. on his on his channel, the Grand Ole Opry. Because again, everyone who is posting things of this... I don't, I don't know think, where they got the footage, but there isn't like... Well, I don't think... He doesn't have a song on his album with Vince Gill. So whatever they're doing here is not from his album. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we can listen to a bad version of it. No, no, no. Uh, we'll, we'll listen to some of these studio versions, and I'm sure this Grand Ole Opry recording will be posted eventually. No pun intended. <laughs> and, um, and we'll check it out then. No, because that is very exciting. And I have, I've wept listening to Vince Gill play there at the Grand Ole Opry, like those videos. Oh, cool. I can't wait, like... We'll finish this video, see yeah. what it does. Like, you, you know the, the that How Great Thou Art performance he has with Carrie Underwood? That guitar solo of his is one of the most beautiful things I've ever, ever heard. Oh, thank you very much. I, uh, I was going for, like, uh, Kmart George Strait. <laughs> yeah, Brad, you better come and play with us. Okay. This is cool. I, I hope this recording um, this comes out because it's really song. just like a... It's like a jam yeah. session. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Vince. Yeah, man. Oh, and he's not even going to play with you. He's not, he's not even going to play his guitar. I love your heart. Why not? I okay. cut it off. I guess we'll have to try and find it. Hold up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that felt good. That, sometimes you get the just the perfect mm -hmm. sneeze. And that was it. I saw him do an interview. It was like a short interview about his album here. And he was just saying, like, he just is at a place in his life where he's so happy. And it, like, he's... So country was, like... Yeah, but he just, like, feels it. Like, sh like, the interview he was saying, like, even, like, the sad songs, I, like, feel happy. And he talked about how... One of the things he said is because he has his daughter and he's just like yeah. a little happy. I, that song was beautiful. Yeah. You had me check so I think out. that's great. Like, yeah. 